Good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. I feel like I'm always in the middle of a trip on Thanksgiving. I'm starting a three day today and we are going to Eugene, Oregon and we have a 22 hour layover in Eugene today. And then tomorrow we go to San Antonio and we have another long layover in San Antonio. And Josh is coming with me on both days or he's gonna try to at least. And we're gonna try to rent a car in Eugene. Try to drive up the coast and see a few things in Oregon. I don't know, I was excited about this trip when I first got it so I have some screenshots of things that I wanna do but I haven't gone back and looked at them. I haven't been doing the uh, leggings curls as much lately. I don't know why I stopped using these though because I feel like they turn out really nice every time. And my report time is at 12.08. But our layover is at kind of an awkward time. Like I think we get into Eugene at three or four and then we leave tomorrow around like one or two I want to say. I feel like most of the times when you have a layover like that you're either getting in really early or really late and then you have the whole day the next day. But today we just kind of have like the afternoon and then the morning. So it's a little bit harder, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. And I'm just really happy that Josh is coming with me. Also, we have been putting up some Christmas decorations. So that up there on those cabinets, I thought I was gonna be all cute and creative and turn the cabinets into Christmas presents. I've been seeing people doing this on TikTok and we could not figure out how to tie a bow to put right there on those cabinets. So we gave up on that yesterday. I just, I mean, we were watching tutorials and we both just felt so stupid we couldn't figure it out. Okay, just a little spritz of perfume and we'll be good to go. I've got a few new perfumes from Dossier today. Y'all know I love to save money where I can and the whole purpose of this brand is to make luxury scents affordable and accessible. They smell amazing, they last all day, and a lot of them are dupes for luxury, high-end, expensive perfumes. Today I have Floral Lavender, Ambery Vanilla, and Woody Chestnut. First one we're gonna try is Ambery Vanilla and this one is a dupe for YSL Black Opium. This has been a favorite scent of mine for a few years now. I'm not gonna spray this one because I know the smell very well. Like I said, this has been a favorite of mine for years, but this smells exactly like it. I love warm vanilla scents. Next one is Woody Chestnut. This one is a dupe for Replica by the Fireplace. I've actually never had one of the Replica perfumes, but I have smelled them at Sephora before. Let's see, spray this on my other hand. I have a feeling this is the one I'm gonna wear today. I don't have the luxury perfume to compare this to, but it does smell really nice and woodsy, very fall. And then the last one is Floral Lavender. This is another dupe for one of my favorites. This one is inspired by the YSL Libre Perfume. This one has notes of vanilla, amber, and musk. I feel like with this one, you're literally just paying for the look of a luxury bottle. But this is the exact same thing for a fraction of the price. And right now, these are super discounted. Like right now, this one is $14.50. And this one is also on sale, but for $108. I think my favorite is this Ambery Vanilla. I'm gonna bring a little travel size of this on my trip. It is 10.51. We're on our way to the airport. Just one leg today, but I think this flight is going to be like three and a half, maybe three hours and 45 minutes. And when we get to the airport, I need to look up the things that I was wanting to do around Eugene. I definitely want to go out to the beach because it's like an hour away. Yay! Decided to drive an electric car. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. That about gave me a heart attack. <laughs> no. So is this how you charge it instead yeah. of gassing it up? Yeah. Dang. Which I guess. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're either going to Hecata Head Lighthouse or Thor's Well. The sun sets in an hour. Which means we gotta get going. So I don't know if we're gonna see anything to be honest. This so. is Thor's Well. This is Hecata Lighthouse. So these are my thoughts. Okay, give it to me. There's an hour of light. By the time we get there, in an hour and a half, it's going to be dark. And that, we're, we might not be able to see it. You're right. But the lighthouse, we'll be able to see because it's a lighthouse. Light okay. What do you think of Oregon so far? I really like it. It's cute. It's it is quaint. cute. I love the trees. The Christmas trees. Yeah. Year round. So the sun is going down. It's 422. It's supposed to be there at 445. And it says on the weather app that the sunset is at 439. So we might get to see a little bit of this lighthouse. Uh, either way, we're gonna see it. It's a lighthouse. Yeah, but it's not a darkness house. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a race against the sun right now. Going 40 miles an hour. We're 12 minutes away now. I wanna see a lighthouse. I've never seen a lighthouse before, have you? No, I haven't. Okay, we kind of made it. 
The sunset was so pretty and we were trying to get here before it was all the way down, but we didn't make it. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Okay, there's the lighthouse that we were going to. Apparently those are sea lions down they there. Are. Look at them, they're all moving towards the Oh. Water. I would have thought there were rocks if you hadn't pointed them out. Pointed oh, them out. Me too, but listen. Oh, I hear them. This is so shaky because I'm shivering. I wanted to get out of the car as fast as possible, so I didn't put my coat on and I'm not wearing shoes. Look at the waves crashing down there, Josh, on that oh. big rock. Oh, the light is spinning. Yeah, right? On the lighthouse. Dude, this is where nature is like just nature. It's insane. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Those waves are crazy. And apparently we're in a tsunami, tsunami zone. Danger, tsunami danger zone or something. Yeah, awesome. This is way better than what I expect. I swear, every time I go somewhere with you that I expect to be like, you know, it's gonna be all right. Yeah. It's always way better than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I have low expectations when it comes to you. That's, okay. <laughs> Still not wearing my shoes. Don't oh, you yeah. feel like you're somewhere famous right now? I do. Is this not somewhere famous? I don't know. Maybe. Huh? Can we go touch the water? You want to go touch the water? Yeah, I want to see how cold it is. It's, I'm guessing it's pretty cold. Okay. Why don't you touch the sand? It's cold, huh? It's really cold. <laughs> There's the lighthouse. I just can't get over how big these waves are. Okay, we're hiking up to the lighthouse. It's a half a mile hike. The sun's already gone. That looks like a house out of a scary movie. I bet something still lives there. Something? <laughs> you can see the, the lighthouse light. I can't believe I've never seen a lighthouse before so many different lighthouse lights. Did you notice that? Got it. I thought it was just two, but it's a lot more than that. Bunch That's pretty cool. Okay, let's get out of here. It's cold. Yeah, and it's getting really dark. Okay, we gotta charge the car before we go back. I think it's interesting that it's in the front instead of back there. We're at a casino. So, we can't sit here for two hours. No, we're gonna wait for 30 minutes. Okay. Do you think that'll be enough to get it back tomorrow? No, I'm hoping we can do it overnight at oh. the place that we're at for free. I think we're probably like, what, are we an hour away from Eugene? Yeah, we're about an hour 15 from Eugene. Like, can you imagine having an electric car and being in a hurry? And then you're like, oh, dang it. My car is almost dead. I got to go fill it up yeah, gotta go with for electric the, juice. For the know? next two hours, electricity. <laughs> and then you just like have to sit there and wait. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. You want to go in the casino? Oh, you know what? I bet they do have food there. Okay, that actually sounds kind of okay. Yeah, let's go in there. Because I'm hungry and on the way here, nothing was open. There, I think there was maybe one little restaurant on the way here that was open, but I bet by now it's closed. I mean, it's yeah. six o'clock. <laughs> Are they doing bingo? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's our food. <laughs> Okay, that was a fun Thanksgiving. That was a really fun Thanksgiving. Super fun. At the casino in Oregon. <laughs> Pizza and burgers and, and secondhand smoke. <laughs> and I bet the car is gassed up with electricity. So we successfully killed like maybe an hour and a half and it was two hours till full charge. So hopefully we'll only have to charge it a little bit tomorrow. Is this? Track town. I don't know what that means. This is the first time in my entire life that I've seen a waffle maker lamp. Very unique hotel. I've stayed at this hotel before, um, like the hotel chain, but somewhere else. 
I think in Richmond. Okay, it is 10.30 a.m. We're probably gonna leave here in like an hour or so. Josh is already ready to go. He's watching football. But we have to go charge the car because the little electric car spot at the hotel in the parking garage, it said it would take 25 hours to fully charge it and we have to return the car fully charged or they will charge us $35. So we'll leave here a little bit early and maybe go get lunch or something and get the car charged up because they're not going to be charging us any more money. I'm honestly embarrassed. I don't even want to tell y'all how much we spent on this rental car for one day. $268.70. Okay, I wasn't actually even going to tell them, <laughs> but yeah, over $200 is pretty steep. But it was a holiday. That's not just over $200, that's encroaching on $300. Okay, please, real math. If it's not $300, it's $200. So Josh is coming with us again today. We are going from Eugene to Phoenix and then Phoenix to San Antonio. And then we have another long layover in San Antonio. It's 17 hours, but we get in tonight at like 11 p.m. So we'll basically have all day tomorrow in San Antonio. And then tomorrow we just have one leg home. So this trip was really, well, it's not over, but really not a bad trip. And both long layovers, so it was the perfect trip for Josh to come with me on. Today is Black Friday, and I didn't even think about it, didn't even realize. I feel like Black Friday is just not really a thing anymore. Because it's all about Cyber Monday. Yeah, and it's like, like everybody shops online anyway, so it's like Black Friday deals are online. Like nobody's going and fist fighting over TVs anymore, you know what I'm saying? I miss the good old days. <laughs> I remember my very first job. I was working at Aeropostale in the mall in Bowling Green. My Black Friday shift started at like one or two o'clock in the morning. Golly. Yeah, it was kind of fun, it, but I feel like it's not like that anymore. I don't, do places still even stay open that late on Black Friday or like open that early, I guess? I don't know, you just don't really hear much about it anymore. People used to be like lined up out of Best Buy and Target. People don't really do that anymore. The car charger that we plugged into says 10 hours till full charge. So we're definitely gonna have to go find somewhere else to charge the car. Like this was a cool experience, the whole electric car thing. Um, but I do feel like it's a little impractical. I mean, especially if you're at a stop like this where it's gonna take 10 hours to charge. Not, I mean, cool, I'm though. sitting here talking like as if we could afford an electric car. <laughs> Not a chance. Like, um, it's just a little impractical. We are having a hard time finding a place to charge. The last place that we were just at was for customers only of a bank. <laughs> but is the bank even open today? Maybe we wouldn't have even gotten caught, you know? So That's yeah, true. Basically. Well, we've already committed to a new one. Third time's the charm. This one says fast EV charging station, so. And it is 1124, and we need to be at the airport at, I would say, 1.30 to return the car. Yep, it okay, is. Okay, we found it. All right, and 20 minutes later, looks like we got it figured out. Okay, we found a place to eat. Best Burger by Max B. I don't know who that is. Is he famous, Josh? I'm not sure. Okay. I just know that he voted it the best burger. <laughs> well, if Max B says it's the best burger, I mean, it smells amazing even out here. Do you smell it? Yeah. Got some chicken tenders and fries and chocolate. <laughs> I'm sad that it's all nice and sunny as we're leaving. So it is 12.50 a.m. We made it to San Antonio and we're leaving at like 4 p.m. tomorrow. And we're both pretty tired, but all the Christmas lights around here look so pretty. So we're just this walking around so for a little awesome. bit. actually 12 37 a.m. so we did sleep in pretty late but we didn't get back here until like two o'clock in the morning but I'm so glad that we went out walking around and everything because the lights were so pretty I, I didn't realize I've never been to San Antonio around Christmas time and it is so cute on the river walk man for some reason I feel like this trip has been a week long trip. it has felt really long <laughs> like I feel like we've been gone for, from home for a week but we have a few hours before our van time and today we just have one leg back to dallas and san antonio to dallas is super quick it's like a 40 minute flight no service i won't have to set up the carts and everything so it'll be a super easy day and josh should be able to get on my flight but if he doesn't then there's like three more flights for the rest of the night 
but our van time is at 407 so we're gonna go walk around and go get something to eat we're gonna go watch the uk game somewhere we are playing mobile today spencer's at the game it is? Uh-huh. They don't have our game on any of the TVs, so we pulled it up on the The last time that I was here it was during COVID, and so there was nobody out here. It was just me. And I had been called on standby and I didn't think I was gonna get called on standby. But it only packed like pajamas. So I was oh, yeah. walking around in my in-flight shoes and shorts and a t-shirt. Yes, yeah, and I was the only person here. I like set up my camera, took a little picture and everything. I didn't realize that people died at the Alamo. I didn't know what happened at the Alamo. So I, I like took like a jumping picture. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, we have to be downstairs in like 12 minutes. I am so tired. I'm so glad it's just one quick little 40 minute flight today. Mm -hmm. 